Together again to entertain and play games. Welcome back, we're the 2-Bit Players. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We've just been scratching our dubstep itches. Yeah. Throwing back, what, some 12-odd years? Some dubstep and uh, remake. Yeah. Uh, theme song itches. I, uh, A1 is a rapper who uh, his first album called After School Special took a bunch of theme songs from the 90s and earlier and remixed them into rap songs. They're dope as fuck, like Golden Girls and stuff. And then po- Pokemon was on there. Mm-hmm. And then Noah pulled up a Pokemon dubstep remake. <laughs> from <And> then, like 2008? <laughs> eight? eight or some shit, yeah. <laughs> With the sickest drop known to mankind. The sickest drop. Link below. <laughs> there you go. Um, We're playing Ghosts of Sushi Mama. I'm your host, Noah. I'm Jeffrey. The other host. I'm the co-host. I'm the sub-host. And uh, we're the two players. Speaking of hosts, yeah, I started watching Supermarket Sweep oh, last night. I've been seeing that pitched to me on Netflix. It is a riot. Oh. It's super fun. It's like from 93, right? 90 to 95, I looked it up this <laughs> morning. Actually, last night. Hmm. Um, it is a delight. Hmm. Super fun. I thought it was mid-80s. Because the hair is so intense. Well, the mid '80s is basically like the early '90s. Yeah, because because me and Tim were watching it last night, and we're like, this has to be like '80s or super early '90s, and it started mm-hmm. February 1990. It is funny. Whatever you associate with like the decade, as far as styles go, it's really just the second half of that decade and uh-huh. a bleed over into the early parts yeah, of the it's latter usually decade. Usually, like '85, '95 is more like. Mm-hmm. Um, like we, yeah. we were watching um, the the recap of the first Bachelor season that ABC did. Oh, goodness. And those suits, man, they are cut straight off of Bob Saget in 1997. <laughs> They're like huge. They're huge. Dude, suits back in like 2000 were massive. Mm-hmm. Massive. They just didn't even fit. They even joked and they cut back to Chris Harrison in his house and he's like, did Taylor's even exist in 2002? <laughs> It's fucking true. It's crazy. They're just... I saw some photo of um, God, Matt Damon at some premiere. I forget what movie it was, but oh my God, his suit is like cartoonishly large. <laughs> um, but who knows, man? Suits used to be very cut and very fit back in the 50s. Yeah. Uh, and then 2000. And we, we corrected hard. Uh, they super loose. Even in the 60s, 70s, they were very <laughs> slim fit um, with bell bottoms. But and massive lapels, but still. And then starting the eighties, like oh, hammer. Oh, sweet! Digital deluxe horse is available. What? I'm the, <laughs> I get my choice of horse over here. You bought the digital deluxe edition? Absolutely, of this? man! I gotta Jesus. support Sucker Punch. Times are tough. Jesus Christ! This digital deluxe horse will be with you for your entire journey. What does that mean? Well, that's a commitment. Does that mean what if these other ones are better? I feel like I have to go with the digital deluxe yeah, horse. Yeah, you, you paid for it. It's digital and it's deluxe. Yes. Easy there. He suits you. Easy there, digital deluxe. Digital deluxe. I'm going to name, name him it? Kage. Kage, born from the darkness. You have chosen to name your horse Kage. That means your horse is an Aries. <laughs> so he's kind of moody. After me. It's such an Aries thing to do. Such an Aries. A little moody, but you know, he's the life of the party. <laughs> Um, when he gets his way. <laughs> I don't know anything. <laughs> I don't know anything about Aries. That astrology shit. Ooh. I fucking hate astrology so much. Hey, you got a trophy. I did. You gathered the storm. And I gathered the horse. I did. Should have named the horse Storm. Ah, oh, shit. Ah, oh, fuck it. And the trophy would have been gathering shadows. <laughs> it's like 400,000 miles away. I've traveled many miles to meet you. How many miles? Would you say 10, 10 million? Did <laughs> you say 10 million? Whatever that quote was in was, Kung Pao. I gotta watch that movie like again. like 100,000 or... Would you say 10,000 miles? I think it's like 10 million. I think so. Would you say 10 million? Kung Pao is brilliant. It's <sighs> so good. So good. I think the last time I watched it, I immediately paired it with Muppets Treasure Island. For the ultimate Noah experience. For the experience. ultimate Noah experience. This is some time ago. I think it was before you moved out. But I can't not think of one without the other. <laughs> Even though we watched a lot of Kung Pao, we didn't watch a lot of Muppets Treasure No, Island. I can't think of watching that with you at all, really. But uh, Kung Pao is, oh my God, so good. 
It's it's a little cheesy, but it's a kids movie. And there's some parts that yeah. That the cow matrix fight is a little ridiculous. <laughs> um, but, but outside everything of else that in one it, bit, everything else <laughs> the is movie so is gold. Really, and you know okay. that bit costs the most money out yeah. of everything in the movie. When approaching enemy territory, you can challenge foes to a standoff. Oh, here, like a duel. I'm going to win 80 <laughs> of them before I finally lose. Once your enemy approaches, hold triangle. As soon as they attack, release triangle to defeat them in one deadly strike. Wow. Okay. My favorite line, at least that I can think of, from Kung Pao, uh-huh. is when the two guys are like, like sneaking around. It's like, you go that way. I'll go home. You go that way. I'll go home. Oh, yeah. And then they just split off. And he oh, just, I lost the standoff. He fucking died, dude. <sighs> My favorite line from the movie. You go that way. I'll go home. <laughs> he just leaves. <laughs> like, okay. Wee wee wee. Chosen. Chosen. I'm coming. I'm coming. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that movie's so good. Okay. Why here don't we they go. make a sequel? He gets samurai. <laughs> what? You gotta hold it and then let go well, of I it. Well, I did let go when no, no, he no. approaches. You have to hold it, then let go of it. <laughs> you idiot. You let go and then started holding it. I'm oh, look up Kung Pao. Best quotes. Enter the fist. No, see what the, what the, what the update is on the squeakle. The scuttlebutt? Guess what the rotting, rot, Rotten Tomatoes is for Kung Pao. <laughs> 62? 13. What? You got here. That is unfair. IMDB though gives it a 6.2. There we go. Oh, I had to wait until the prompt to release it. Yeah, it's gonna tell you. I was you trying to, to prompt. It. I was trying to get ahead of everything. 13% is horseshit. That's that's, that's a lie. That's horseshit. That's a that's a democratic hoax right there. That's fucking fake news, dude. Oh shit. A short sketch is worth of jokes stretched into a full-length feature. Is it? I mean, that's not entirely inaccurate. <laughs> Disagree. <laughs> The movie made 15 million bucks. What? What's all that noise? I've never seen the original. Have oh, you? like tiger and horse crane something? Yeah, Fists? yeah. Have you ever seen it? No. We should watch it. We should do a back to back. We should watch that, the original, then watch Kung Pao. <laughs> Would you be down? So we know all the in jokes? Well, yeah, just to kind of see what they had to work with and then what yeah. they turned it into. To be fair. You don't want to do that, do you? I'd absolutely be game. Okay, you're you're asking me if I want to watch Kung Pao? The answer is always yes. Yeah, but with the original. Double feature. Naturally, much fun is made of the poorly synchronized dialogue inherent in Kung Fu flicks, but the gag pales with repetition, especially since Billy Crystal and Robin Williams did it better years ago. What? What movie? I don't know. Billy Crystal and Robin Williams? In a movie together? They did a movie about... Didn't they do a movie with... Not since Freddy <laughs> Got Fingered has a major release been so painful to sit through. That's a Tom Green movie? Yeah. Freddy uh, Got Fingered. I, this one says, quote, not available. Yikes. Uh, a processed comedy chop suey. Like I gave it a D. <laughs> Kung Pao is Oda Kirk's realization of his childhood dream to be an to be in a martial arts flick and proves that sometimes the dreams of youth should remain just These reviews that. are so harsh. Where's the our review? Our top. review says 10 out of 10. The best. Goodbye. Um, it is the ultimate mystery science theater project realized hmm. where it's like all the jokes they make are in the fucking movie. It's so good. It's best gags are great, but they make up something like 5% of the whole. Not and true. its middle tier gags are pretty mediocre. Kind Steve of true. Odekirk's Ode to Bad 70s Hong Kong Cinema is a gleefully bizarre combination of loving homage and merciless satire. Bad special <laughs> effects and unexpected jokes. 3.4, 3.5 out of 4. Okay. That was a good review. Hey, I like it. I like this guy. Who's this guy? Uh, is he going to run for president? Is Betsy Bazdek. Okay. Uh, Totalement... Con et absurde mais asi totalement hilarant. <laughs> Eight out of ten. Fantastic. <laughs> I'm assuming totally absurd and hilarious. And totally hilarious is cool. I guess what it means. When I find Lord Shimura, we'll need a quick escape. As deadly to brain cells as huffing paint thinner, but more delightful. Four out of five. Hmm. I'm not back soon. Ride for the forest. 
<laughs> I haven't seen such self-amused trash since Freddy got fingered. We should watch that. <laughs> I've never seen it. I've never seen it either, but it's terrible. <laughs> they keep comparing the two. What does it say? Self-amusing trash? Uh, I haven't seen such self-amused trash. <laughs> if you like this sort of thing or this kind of genre, Kung Pao has its brief yet fun moments. Okay. That movie's nonstop brilliant. Tell me. That was like if you brief see... yet fun. That's my sex life. That's my sex life. <laughs> brief yet it happened. <laughs> um, it's so good. Did you ever see? Um, oh, what's that? Uh, Wet Hot American Summer. No. Oh. No. Never. I don't remember if it's in the... I think it was in the movie. Like, the sequel. Not the series, but, like, the... The new yeah, the, revisiting the, of it the they did. The Netflix yeah. sequel series. There's a point where... What's the actor from uh, Brooklyn Nine-Nine? Short guy. Kind oh, of balding. Big eyes. John Toretto or something like yeah, that. Yeah. He's, he's so he, funny. He loses virginity to this one actress who I can't think of her name either. But he literally, like, is like, all right... Here we go. And he goes in once and then he like comes out. He's like, oh, that was amazing. <laughs> <laughs> that guy is so funny. Have yeah. you ever seen Role Models? No. <sighs> it's Paul Rudd and Sean William Scott. And it's essentially, they're like babysitting this kid. It's been a while since I've seen it, but they do a lot of live action role play because that's what the kid's oh, into. Oh, you told me about this. Yeah. And that guy is like the head live action role play guy of this like league. <laughs> and you know all of his lines are just improvised. Oh, sure. And <laughs> it's like some of the greatest shit ever because then you watch the outtakes uh -huh. and, you, and that's when you find out like, oh, all of this is improvised. <laughs> every scene is different. Because every, every line he says differently and they keep laughing until they get a take oh where he, they don't laugh. It's so good. Um, that movie's amazing. You should watch it. It's got like an 80% or something. Is it better than Freddy Got Fingered? Uh, Self-amused trash. Freddy Got Fingered? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Never seen it. Okay. Can't say. We'll have a back-to-back -back double feature. Back to back. Freddy Got Fingered feature. and uh, Role Models. Uh, also, I watched Palm Springs. Oh, how was that? Great. Oh, okay. Cool. I knew I was going to like it when Alex said he didn't like it. <laughs> that's why I was like immediately like, I need to watch this movie. That's that, just a tangent on that for a little bit. That's like an amazing thing. <laughs> when you when, like a reviewer or just like a friend uh -huh. where you know you're gonna love a movie because they didn't like it yeah. you're like oh you hated it for these reasons great perfect it's like i need to go watch it immediately and i loved it i thought it was so good so funny and really touching like um it's like a really sweet like rom-com who is it rashida jones no no <laughs> the girl from um, wolf of wall street i guess oh i didn't margot really... robbie no the first wife we had this oh, whole Kristen Milioti, the love of my life. She is? She looks like if a Molly, the <laughs> actual love of your life? She looks like if a King Charles Cavalier Spaniel became a woman. She's adorable. Excuse me? I will show you a picture of a King Charles Cavalier Spaniel, and then I will show you a picture of <laughs> Kristen Milioti, and you will not be able to tell the difference. <laughs> uh, okay. She's great in it. Oh, awesome. She's super good. It's really funny. J.K. Simmons is in it also. Okay, but he cool. It doesn't have a very big part. But he's also very interesting. Nephew. Speaking of interesting, I think shit's finally happening. We're about to get to... By finally happening, I mean it's been happening all along, and now it's finally reaching its climax. I didn't even know you've been playing this. <laughs> I, like, got to the Mongol warlord, Jeffrey. I'm gonna go... <gasps> Shredder? Jin. Jin. I only got scotch. Has told me much about you, Jin Sakai. I will show him his nephew, broken and humiliated, begging to join the Mongol Empire. Jin. <laughs> this is your time, Lord Sakai. That shoulder pad would be so distracting. Next time! Our voices are small. No, no, <laughs> just kidding. no. <laughs> just, just, just I have to fight Koton Khan. Who's that? Koton Khan, Jeffrey. Kick his ass, Noah Fish. 
You can do it. Your uncle is watching, so you're gonna Something have about anxiety. this tells me this is gonna be like one of those planned failures, <laughs> you know? Because you're getting your ass kicked. Yeah. And you can't even do anything to this dude. <gasps> oh, every time you hit him, his health just goes back to full immediately. I said that as a bluff. <laughs> yeah, where is his health? I can't tell. I assume it's that red bar above his name. Why didn't you counter? I tried. No fish. Counter, strike, counter, strike. No fishes. Dude, he's kicking your ass first off. But you're kind of, you've done a little bit to him. <laughs> he like, counter. You never listen. This is why your marriage is failing. <laughs> I hope that joke's funny forever, by the way. <laughs> I'm watching this, like... Because at some like, point, that joke's not going to be funny. I'm watching this 10 years from now, like, <laughs> naked in my couch, crying. Just crying, like, oh, God, he was right all along. <laughs> Enough. Oh, you're right. Well, I mean, I did fail at it. I didn't, like... I did not miserably. try. You failed miserably. I got to try it and sucked. You wasted all your health potions. <laughs> it's true. Save yourself. Oh, oh, fuck yeah. That was his moment, dude. Could have stabbed him in the eyeballs. <gasps> Next time! Our voices are small, but we'll reach you. We can listen up. Black Lives Matter. Links are below. Please donate if you can.